Sorry, I slammed me fast. Put it This this one I was taking in the thick of the pandemic. Corruption and other kind other types of vices in the country. One of the foremost examination bodies in Nigeria and perhaps in West Africa, WAEC, has begun a massive collaboration and partnership with a Nigeria police force that is designed to strengthen the integrity of its examination processes. In line with that new spirit of collaboration and partnership intended to help in stamping out all kinds of examination practices in this country, WAEC officials and leadership worked very hard with the Nigeria Police Force during the last August slash September WAEC examination that was conducted across the country to fish out all persons that are perpetrating or aiding the perpetration of examination math practices in any of its form within the country. It is in line with, with this new approach and this new partnership that we are presenting to you today a total of 17 suspects that we are arrested from different parts of the country, including Bauchi, Kano, Nasarawa, Rivers. Surprisingly, or rather paradoxically, the bulk of these suspects who are aiding the perpetration of these fraud and exam practices all happen to be persons who were employed, trained, and paid to promote the educational system. And I'm talking of teachers. Out of these suspects here, all of them are all teachers, either as principals or as teachers in secondary schools. And, uh, and one of them is actually a teacher in primary school. They are the ones that work either as supervisors or as invigilators or as the host teachers in the schools where these exams are being conducted. We'll be allowing one or two of them to speak to you at the end of this parade. But we just want to issue out this very strong warning to members of the public out there, parents, guardians, teachers, and even the candidates who are preparing or intending to sit for subsequent examinations that we've been able working in conjunction with WIAC to develop very robust 
intervention approaches, very robust technologies that will always enable us to detect, trace, and find anyone who has been involved in any form of cheating or fraud in WIAC exams. We therefore want to advise parents, teachers, and candidates that the shortest cut to their sources is indeed for them to sit back, prepare the awards, prepare the candidates adequately for these exams. No other way will give them the kind of success they're looking for, and no other way will take them to the destination they want to go. All these suspects will be arraigned before, before competent courts of law in the country. As I speak to you, some have already been charged to courts in Enugu and Delta. Lagos inclusive, and these ones here will equally be prosecuted in accordance with the laws of the land. Thank you. For the collaboration we have received. Indeed, during the exams, many people were talking about leakage and so on, but there was no leakage at all. It was just a situation where those we trusted with our question papers, those who were nominated by ministries of education in different states, they were the ones, after we gave them question paper, maybe at 9 a.m. for an exam for 9.30, they stopped to take pictures and put on websites and WhatsApp groups. So they are indeed those who have um, tried to you know, scuttle our efforts. But we thank God because we have a lot of devices within the council that can detect. Immediately, the Bauchi one happened. Before the suspect could leave the exam hall, somebody was already there because we were, we were um, checking and we were monitoring from Lagos and we were able to detect these people. And then, of course, the police also collaborated with us to investigate further and get other people who were involved in the same um, business of posting our question papers online. So we thank you, the Nigerian Police Force, the Inspector General of Police, and all our collaborators for work well done. Thank you very much. But after I see the envelope, I have to put a coffee to give the uh, Maharazu Savu. I am Hans Mbilov. I'm the principal of Excel School in Patakot. A young man brought some answers to the school and then I didn't have an Android phone. So I had to borrow an Android phone from a colleague in the office. And then the young man, he sent it and the young man left, went to some other school and he was intercepted by the WIAC official and he was taken to the police, they now saw from the police station, they saw the trace of what he sent to my phone. And then that was how I was got to my school and then they, I was arrested to the police station. That was what really happened. Uh, do you feel any sense of regret? Yes, actually I feel a sense of regret for having uh, identified with such a person first. And I want to also say for everyone that my life Actually, some of the students who are crying got the COVID-19 and they, they have not been going to school. So I wanted to assist them 
Is it a private school? It's a private school. It's okay. No, sir. No, I wasn't paid. It's okay. It's okay. Don't ask me many questions. It's okay. 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 But I did not tell them there was no any plan, nothing, they don't know anything about it. And that was what happened. The IPOs, where? IPO, anything that happened to your suspects. I'm getting them before. Yes, sir. Mr. Cover here. 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 Mr.